Welcome to 843-TV. I'm your host, Annalise Itkor. And I'm Lisa Richardson. And as you can see, we're at this spectacular spot at the Old Field Club at the Outfitter Center. And we've got some very unique guests today. Today we have Jill Combrick. She is the Old Field Naturalist. Also joining us is Jason Dubose. He's the Oldfield River Pro and Outfitter Center Director. And we'll also be talking to Sarah Molsky. She is the Oldfield Equestrian Director. So stick around for this very educational episode of 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. Uh, we are here today at the Oldfield Club here at the Outfitters Center. As you can see, incredibly beautiful backdrop. We have uh, some human guests as well as some special uh, <laughs> critter guests today. This is Cornelia and also joining us is Jason Dubois and Jill Kalmbrick. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So first and foremost, guys, for those of you who may not be familiar with the Outfitters Center, tell us a little bit about the staff you have on board here. We have a, a pretty diverse and experienced staff, um, two full-time Coast Guard licensed charter captains, uh, full-time naturalist, Jill, and we have a boat program coordinator who handles the boat launches and retrieves for our members. That's pretty spectacular, actually, to yes, have that many on staff to share all of the things you have going on. You've got some fantastic programs available to members. Let's talk about some of those. How about the boat program? Uh, we have a full service boat program for our members. Uh, it makes it extremely hassle free to get out and enjoy boating on the river here. The boats are kept on their trailer in a secure storage yard. Mm -hmm. Members simply just call down and make a reservation for their launch time. We trailer the boat down, put it in the water here at our boat ramp. It can stay in the water for three or four days while the members use it. Oh. And when we're done, uh, put it back on the trailer, rinse the hull, rinse the motor, rinse the trailer. Put it back in the yard. It's uh, wow. extremely hassle-free. <laughs> we boat and we do all of that ourselves. So <laughs> I know exactly how uh, incredible benefit that is for sure. Uh, it's, no it's kidding. It's a very, very popular. Program. You just listed yeah. all the reasons why I don't own a boat <laughs> exactly. because you have to do all you that have yourself. To do all that. That's yes, pretty you amazing. Do. Absolutely. And we see it's low tide right now, so it's a spectacular view and. It's just such an amazing background here. You could just sit here and, and not do anything else. But mm -hmm. in fact, there's other water programs. Absolutely. So I understand and I've heard great tales about your fishing adventures here. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about that, Jason. Yeah, we do uh, all types of saltwater fishing here. Uh, we've got a 26-foot bay boat that we do inshore fishing for redfish, trout, flounder, cobia, tarpon. We've also got a 27-foot twin-engine center console that we can take up to about 50 miles offshore for king mackerel, grouper, snapper. Uh, so we cover all, all aspects of saltwater fishing here in the low country. And we also do uh, sightseeing cruises for folks who want to get out on the river and maybe aren't interested in fishing while we're out there. Right. Uh, dolphin cruises, we do destination trips to downtown Buford, Defusky, uh, various ports on Hilton Head. So lots, lots of on the water boating activities. Well, and you know, when you live in a community like this, the first impact you have is you drive through the property you, you just want to get outside. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think when you're new to an area and you don't understand the area, we were having a funny conversation about Cornelia, you know, mm -hmm. and understanding the different snakes here and the different wildlife here. Mm -hmm. Having someone like you on staff, Jill, really helps them connect, not just knowledgeably, but safely. Talk a little bit about that. Right, yeah, I think um, having a naturalist on staff really does make us unique, not only in the programs and things that we can offer, but also in the education. So Oldfield was developed around the nature and we're very um, eco-friendly and based on that. So at the same time, we do a lot of education for um, the members, whether it's a program or just for them to call up and say, I have a snake in my yard or, you know, I, we're worried about the alligators, what can you tell us? So it's a great resource. All of the staff at the Outfitter Center can do that, but it is one of my primary roles to educate them on that. You use the word education, and mm -hmm. that's so true. This area of the low country, so much to learn to all the beauty. And we were talking a little bit before about the snake. Sometimes people mistake this particular snake with a copperhead so you could tell them hey, yeah look. exactly <laughs> I think a lot of times fear just comes from not knowing right. and so being able to educate them is 
is half the battle. And so we talk to them about that. We live with nature. We try to explain to them that alligators were here first. We live in harmony with them. Obviously, if there's an issue, we look into it. But again, it's nice to have the staff here that they know they can rely on for that. Absolutely. Now talk a little bit about the Outfitter Center itself. It's pretty awesome. I walked in and was really quite blown away by it. You know, how do you utilize this facility, it's, Jason? It's uh, utilized in a lot of different ways. One, it's, it's their booking center for all the different activities that we offer here. If someone wants to book a fishing charter, mm -hmm. um, if someone wants to just stop in and bring the grandkids or the kids to come check out the Nature Center that Jill has put together to see the, the snakes and the turtles and the fish, um, it's also just a meeting place for members. We have uh, a group of guys that come down and smoke cigars down here on the porch <laughs> every Sunday afternoon. So it gets utilized in a lot of ways. We have uh, 10 complimentary kayaks for members to use, ah, six nice. paddle boards so folks can come down and make a reservation to check those out. So it's really the Outfitter Center is what gives our membership access to the river, whether it's on a boat, paddleboard, kayak, it's, it's kind of their, their, their doorway to getting out on the Okatee River. Absolutely. Now the members, obviously the homeowners, is that the membership to the, that come with all these amenities, is that an extra or is that just kind of comes along with living here? That, the, the access to everything that we offer here at the Outfitter Center is available to all of our property owners um, and then certain membership levels, the country club membership levels also have access to the Outfitter Center amenities and, and everything that comes along with it. So are you, folks can just come down anytime and chat with you all, catch you all, find out what's going on at any mm -hmm. particular time. Talk about the personal touches that you offer the members. Yeah, so you know, members will come down and you know just want to know what's biting in the river, you know, mm -hmm, what we've been mm -hmm. catching. They'll, they, they know what time we're getting back from the fishing charters. So they'll come down and <laughs> a lot out. of times they're waiting at the dock to, to, to watch us clean fish and ask what we were catching them on and where we were catching them. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's really a lot of close personal interaction with, with the membership. It's, they, can, they can pop in in their sitting room and, and, and watch a college football game on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, so it's a very homey, uh, kind of atmosphere down here. That's great. Yeah. I think both of us get a lot of texts and pictures sent on our phones as well, like, what's this bird? <laughs> Look at this fish. Right. Um, you know, so That's great. we're used to all of that, too. Or they'll be walking and be like, I saw this bird, or, you know, this is what I caught in the pond today. So, yeah, it's a very informal atmosphere, I think, with the membership and with staff, which is a really nice um, nice feeling too. So it's, it's a big uh, a big highlight for visiting family members. We have uh, members here who have grandkids that come and visit every year and, and a, you know a trip to Jill's Nature Center or, or a fishing trip out on the water is like the must thing tradition. to do. Yeah, yeah. They, they do it every year so it's uh, it, it is a, a tradition. Well, we're gonna take a quick break so you all stay right here we're gonna be back with more 843 TV from Oldfield.